Well, it is Sunday, and it's a beautiful day. So the sawmill engine runs great, as I knew it would, but uh, <laughs> I ran into a bit of trouble with it, but uh, there'll be more on that later in the week here. Uh, I'm heading out to Haley's farm. He's got a water line in his well. He's got like a little pump house for his well, and his water line freezes during the winter. So he wanted to dig it up and redo it all. He had a, a plan. I was going to go out with the and then his brother was going to go out and we are going to meet up and uh, we are going to tackle that next week and he's going to rent a mini hole and go at it. So then it turns out, I guess his brother decided that he was busy and he couldn't make it next weekend. And the forecast looked like it was just going to take a crap and start snowing and being, being terrible weather next week. So Haley took it upon himself to start digging that line up yesterday with his little tractor. And I guess he ran into some trouble, so... Had to put the sawmill project on hold, and I'm heading out to Haley's now to help him out. He called me, and uh, so he's in a bit of a situation here, so he's uh, going to see if we can get this figured out. So, I'll try to get some video of that. Well, maybe not putting it back together, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm scared we found the bottom of the pipe, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. So he had to drag the pump house off by himself yesterday. And there was four of these creosote railroad ties, eight feet long, jammed in the ground. So there's just one left. And I think he's got her. excavation site. <laughs> broke off. Yikes. It's got all this block shoved in and there's all boxed in with plywood. I dug that up by hand with a pick. But that's about all I did to help so far.
this recording. Well, maybe it won't go on the internet, Haley. You don't know. It's not all going to go on. Need a little stand. You should fabricate yourself a Well, stand. you know, Haley, you can buy anything at the store. It's no time. It's going good, right? I don't know what it's pointing at. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. What if I hold this over like that? Can you thread it in? Like I'm fucking too low to. Oh yeah, we got this. No problem. Easy. Let's spin it really fast. I got it. Yeah, even if it was hooked on there, I could. Yeah. That's quite a bit better. There we go, now the water line comes up and out here six feet below ground, below the frost line, so it doesn't, uh, it won't freeze again. It's called a pitless adapter. There you go, water line's hooked up. See the tank? The pressure tank used to be in that shed. And everything was in that shed. The pump control and the pressure tank used to be in that shed. Now, the, the pump control and the pressure tank He's got it all hooked up under his basement stairs, and this hooks up here six feet underground, so he shouldn't have frozen water problems anymore. It's hooked up right now. I'm not sure why they had it hooked up like this to begin with, but I'm hoping that we can use that old watershed as the uh, engine house for my sawmill. The only issue would be getting, <laughs> getting a drug over there on top of the engine, but that would be nice. After much careful thought and deliberation, sad because they're going to be losing this big flywheel but the other mills it's got a bigger shaft with better bearings on it so I think we're going to get rid of this shaft and take the other rubber shaft from the other old mill and put it on here this sheave's going to be on the engine end and the bigger sheave off the other one's going to be uh, here on the mill so I'm going to get a shaft machine this week to run this sheave and then that shaft and this sheave is going to be with that engine skid, powered by the uh, 306. And then we're going to get rid of everything you see here, this whole shaft drive. And we're going to be rigging up the other, the other arbor shaft under this mill. And uh, kind of sucks, I guess, because I'm losing the uh, flywheel, but I'm getting better bearings and a heavier shaft. So I think it's all going to work out. Wow. <laughs> Hi, my goodness. I want to get this thing going so bad, but it's just not a priority right now. No time. Whew, sure is nice. See, look at this nice big heavy herbivore shaft and these big heavy bearings. That'd be a major upgrade. And then that sheave. See, it's nice and big. So, uh, yeah. The bearings are looking in pretty rough shape on that other one. It's a lighter shaft. So, yeah, we're going to go with a heavier shaft, heavier bearings. So that shiv is already on there. And that's going to be the plan. So, yeah, we're going to get a shaft machined for throwing that shiv this week. And then we'll get the uh, engine skid all set up. And then we'll just take that over shaft and get it right off out of there and put this big old girl on there. And that's gonna be that's gonna be nice. A little more friggin' around in a way, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. Man. <laughs> get excited every time I look at this thing. Still quite a bit of work to do. We're gonna steal the axles off the other carriage and wheels because they're all on um on pillow blocks and some of these wheels are broke so we're going to swap axles then yeah swapping arbor shafts so there's oh there's 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 tons and tons of work left to do on this mill but 
slowly but surely. And you know, you may as well take the time and do it right. Especially while the parts are there. We just gotta, just, just gotta use them. Oh geez, it's pretty dark in here. But anyways, just heading home. Uh, yeah, so we got that tank all wired up. Uh, tank setting in the basement. Got that tank plumbed into the basement. Now Haley's got water, so it, uh, yeah, just my extra set of hands. Helped him out a little bit, and uh, we got her done. So I think Haley's going to stay at his place for a few hours and uh, start backfilling a bit and stuff, because it's supposed to be rainy this week, so he really wanted to get that done. So that's to load off his mind, and hopefully he's no more frozen pipes this winter. All right, guys, well, thanks a lot. I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, next video, I'm sure, it should be a uh, sawmill engine. And some new breakthroughs with that, and some <laughs> problems I had that uh, I still have to overcome. And uh, so that should be the next video. Have a good one, guys. Thanks a lot.